Hello and welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, I'm working on a linen cabinet right here. And I just uh, finished making the doors. Uh, for this cabinet, uh, it's just a simple MDF door with a panel molding. And has a 3 8 lip and a slightly rounded edge. And in this video, uh, I'm going to show how I made these doors. The hinges I'm using are a 3 8 offset hinge and require a quarter inch overlay. Uh, we want to measure the width of the opening plus a half inch so we have a quarter inch overhang on each end. So what we do is uh, put the tape measure on a half inch and then read the uh, measurement on the inside of the face frame over here. And then do the same thing to get the other dimension. All right, now I'm going to rough cut my panels out of a sheet of MDF. Now I'm going to joint one edge and then rip them to width. All right, now I'm going to use the uh, crosscut sled to uh, first uh, square one end. Then I'm going to flip the panel around. Now I'm going to mark it for length. Now I'm going to use a gauge stick, which is a stick that I've cut to the length of the doors. So I can accurately mark all of the door panels. Then we line up the uh, mark and creep up on the mark. And make the cut. Okay, here we're going to uh, just clean up the edges with the uh, belt sander. Just a quick pass to uh, remove any saw marks. All right, now I'm gonna change out the uh, saw blade for the dado head. I'm going to be making a 3 8 by 3 8 rabbit on the edges of the doors. So I'm going to set up the dado head at a half inch. And then install a, a sacrificial fence so it sticks out 3 8 of an inch from the fence. After installing the sacrificial fence, I make a few test cuts. Now we're ready to rabbit all of the panels. Next is to go to the shaper and install a quarter inch round over. And we're just going to make a slight round over on all of the outside edges. All right, I'm in the middle of uh, laying out uh, the molding for the doors, and I just cut some test pieces, and all looks good. Okay, what I did first was took a uh, scribe, set it for two and a half inches, and uh, scribed a line all the way around. So 
We're going to set the molding in two and a half inches. All looks good. The knob. I don't know where that's going to be placed yet. Go over to the uh, miter saw and I'll cut all the pieces for all four doors. Okay, I've cut one miter and now I'm going to uh, just use uh, the test pieces as a pattern and just line up the uh, tips and then just mark the length down here on the end. And since I only have a few pieces to do, it's quicker to do it this way than uh, set up a stop block or anything like that. putting the molding on and now we're going to um, put the uh, hinges on uh, do the mock up the doors uh, with the hinges on it and in this case um, I'm going to line the hinge up with the molding uh, there's no set rule you can put them anywhere you want but the general rule is to uh, line up with the molding so I've squared a line across now on this door I flipped it over and line the hinge up with that mark. Now for right now I'm just going to put two, uh, two screws in. When I do the final installation I'll put all the uh, finish putting all the uh, screws right, in. Uh, I'm ready to uh, install the doors on the uh, linen cabinet here. Uh, this type of hinge that uh, surface mounts. I usually do with the cabinet laying down flat, it's much easier. But in this case I have the uh, cabinet uh, mocked up in a vertical position here. Uh, I have it screwed to the floor. So I'm going to uh, install them vertically and a couple of tricks to do that. A couple shims to hold the uh, door. An eighth inch thick shim to hold the door up. So I'll get quarter inch spacing here since there's a 3 8 lip on the door. Now on the style uh, I've got it marked a quarter inch in and to help uh, hold the door in position I'm going to drive a nail right in the uh, mark there. Top and bottom. And uh, one thing to note you would not do this if the uh, cabinet was going to be stained and finished. This is going to be painted. So 
so this is easy to fill in. All right, now I'm going to uh, set the door in position. Uh, these are a self-closing hinge, so they have a spring to them. You just have to make sure you push the hinge all the way flat. Now I'm going to mark the uh, holes. And I'm only going to mark two holes, one top, one bottom. Pre-drill the holes. And then install one screw in the top and one on the bottom. This allows for some adjustment in the final installation.